So you're thinking about moving to Leavenworth, Kansas. Well, in this video, we're gonna take you all around Leavenworth, Kansas. We're gonna take you to some different neighborhoods at different price points, so you can see what might fit your budget. And then at the end, you're definitely gonna to wanna to stick around for this. We're gonna show you some of the best kept secrets of Leavenworth, show you some of the, the ghosts that uh, reside in this area. So you're gonna stick around. <music> Hey, if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you want to know everything there is about living in Kansas City, Missouri, or Kansas City, Kansas, and the surrounding areas like Leavenworth, Kansas, where we are today, then click subscribe and hit the little bell of notification so you can be the first to know of the current market here in the Kansas City area. Today we're standing in Leavenworth in the Kansas City area. My name is Zach Morton, my business partner Max Jones, the team and I I've been helping people move in and to the Kansas City area for over 20 years. We get calls, text, emails from people just like you every day, and that's what makes us tick. We absolutely love it. So pick up the phone, give us a call, shoot us a text, an email, a Zoom call, whatever. All that's in the description below. So let's get started. As I said, we are in Leavenworth, Kansas right now, which obviously is on the Kansas side. The Missouri River is just about four blocks away from me. I'm standing on 4th Street in Cherokee downtown. Uh, some interesting fact about Leavenworth is there is no Main Street here, but I'm pretty much in the city center where all the hustle and bustle is. There is about 28 blocks down here of shopping and restaurants, and the restaurant scene down here is very diverse. There is, we have Korean barbecue, I've got Thai right across the street, there's an Irish pub just to my north. There's a Jamaican place if you're into that. We've got cupcakes and cookies, all kinds of American food, pizza, you name it, they've got it covered here. So, so lots of restaurants and then a uh, shopping district too. We'll kind of walk down that street so you can see what's there. So a lot going on, but um, as I said, you know, 28 blocks of shopping and, and stuff like this. The city itself, Leavenworth, the city, is about 25 square miles. Um, and half of that is actually Fort Leavenworth takes up about half of that. That's just something to know. This town is the first, actually the first city to be established on the Kansas side. And a lot of that is around uh, Fort Leavenworth. So Leavenworth is the oldest city in Kansas, which is kind of cool, a little bit of history there. And Fort Leavenworth is the base, the military base, which takes up about half of the city of Leavenworth. And then there's also the county of Leavenworth, which expands almost four or five times the size of the city. So a couple of the houses that we're gonna take you out and show you, some of them will be in Leavenworth, the city, and some will be in the county, but we're talking just uh, four miles away at the max. So uh, we, if you see a Leavenworth address, it may be in the city, but it also just may be in the county. A lot of the county addresses they use Leavenworth as well. But interesting facts about Leavenworth is since it is one of the oldest cities, and there is a fort, and the fort was originally built to protect the Santa Fe Trail. If you watch our blog on Overland Park, you'll know we were standing right on Santa Fe Drive, which is where the Oregon Trail, the Santa Fe Trail, the Overland Trail, they're all one and the same, kind of went through that part of town. Well, the, the uh, Fort Leavenworth was originally put in there to kind of protect that trail and other trails like it around the area. Um, so that's why it's the oldest part of Kansas, it's also on the most eastern side of Kansas, so it's where it all starts as a whole move west. So just a little bit of uh, tidbit info there. Um, since this is an older part of town, we have all kinds of haunted areas. This building that we're about to come up on, on the corner in the top of it, it's currently a bakery now, but uh, they have recorded all kinds of uh, sounds and stuff at night. Since it is a bakery, she's in there, you know, early in the morning when it's dark and it's quiet, and that's when she hears sounds coming from. So kind of there used to be a lot of tunnels that went under the road. As I said, the river was only about four blocks away. So it was a, um, you know, as the boats are coming through, dropping off goods and all that good stuff. Uh, it was kind of a thriving town and they had tunnels underneath so they could get stuff back and forth to the shops. And uh, historians also believe that the Underground Railroad had a big, you know, a lot of that had a lot to do with the Underground Railroad that was just right here where I'm walking now. All right, you can see up there, we've got ghosts in the window. Oh yeah, this is where it all happens. The people in there just smiling. Turn around here and give you a little shot.
So although there is a nice little downtown area with nice little shops and walking, uh, there's a riverfront park. I do want to touch on that because that's one of my more favorite things to get out and get some exercise next to the river. But this town is in the northwest of Kansas City on the Kansas side. It's a little out there, you know, there's no real easy way to get here. I mean, it's easy enough. It's 30 or 45 minutes from pretty much anywhere in town, but it's not four lane highways, right? Once you get near it, it's a bunch of one lane highways and all it takes is a, you know, surrounded by farmland and it takes one tractor on the road one day to slow everything down and turn your 30 minute commute into a, uh, you know, 40 minute commute real quick. So pan this around. So Fort Leavenworth, which is just to the north, is one of the major employers for the Leavenworth area. They employ over 4,000 people, also known as the Intellectual Center of the Army. Um, a lot of people will come in here for two years or four years, just kind of be passing through. So there is a lot of turnover, but they'll be coming for school or different trainings for military. So when you are out walking around, um, it is not uncommon, to, common, not uncommon to run, or it's very common to run into, you know, men and women that are in uniform. In fact, a lot of the gas stations and a lot of the shops around here will have uh, veteran parking, which is really cool to see. So you'll you'll see a lot of people running around in uniform, and it's just it's just great. So when you when you're here and you see that, just you know, remember to thank them for their service, and uh, they will appreciate you. So along with military coming in for uh, classes and to work, um, a lot of it's you know semi-temporary, two years, four years, things like that. So there's a lot of turnover. And because of that, the uh, city of Leavenworth is about 50% rentals and 50% homeowners. And actually, I think it's 51% rentals and 49% homeowners. So just right on the 50-50 uh, you know, there. And that is due to people coming in town just for short periods of time and then leaving again. All right, I am down by the river now and I just want to talk about some things to do when you're here. So there's not, you know, other than shopping in the little entertainment district here, foods and food and restaurants and a couple of shops, there's really not a whole lot going on in this town. And that's why if you review, read some of the reviews by some of the people that live here, they're like, yeah, it's, you know, it's nice, it's quiet, it's homey, there's, there is people downtown, super old, but it feels cozy and you know, just kind of what you'd expect. But other than that, there's just not a whole lot going on around here uh, as far as nightlife and things like that. So you're probably gonna be traveling to the city, which is 30 minutes, well, you'll find some fun times. And if you wanna get downtown or south of town, uh, probably 45 minutes, and you pretty much get anywhere from here in 45 minutes. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, some things that you can do here is there is the Carroll Museum, which is kind of a famous place. They've actually got some of the steps there that they moved from another location here, but um, are in front of that property. If you go, it's a mansion that Abraham Lincoln stood on when he made one of his, I don't know which speech it was, but at some point he made several famous speeches and that was one of them where he uh, stood on those steps. You can go there, see the mansion. What's kind of cool about that mansion or what they boast is it's been a spot, it's one of the uh, older homes in the area and it's been a spot where locals as you know, over the years as families sell their homes and move out that have been here for generations that have artifacts that date way back to the beginning, you know, in the early 1800s and a lot of that stuff's in the museum. So they've got some really cool original things that you can go see in that mansion, um, hear about it, see some, see some old stuff and it all kind of pertains to Leavenworth and, and, you know, the history as everybody was passing through here to head out west. Right now I'm standing in front of the old train depot um, this was built in 1818, and we're right along the river, so right behind this is the river. This is now the uh, community center, which has an indoor pool. Um, they've got racquetball, a gym, all the kind of things you would expect in a community center. It's just in a nice old train depot station, which is kind of cool. All right, let's take a walk towards the river, shall we? I'm walking over the tracks right now. There's a lot of free parking here, which is a nice thing about Leavenworth, to the riverfront park. And then right behind me, while we're standing here, is the uh, community center that was the old train depot. Uh, school, so of course, anybody with kids is gonna be concerned with schools and where the schools like here. So the schools are very highly rated. We've got A-rated schools all over Leavenworth. 
Um, the average price per student is right at $11,500. I think the national average, when I looked it up, was at $12,000, so just under that, but then you gotta figure we cost a living, um, salary, I think it's gonna be a little bit lower here, so it's right on par. The big number that I thought was great was 12.1 students per teacher. Um, that's a pretty phenomenal number, so here, let's look at some fun stuff. So the schools here, uh, you know, across the board have good ratings. There's also, if you're into um, private schools, there's uh, Catholic schools and several private school options as well. Um, some of the major employers are, of course, um, military at the fort, and we've got some hospitals, some military insurance, and a lot of things military are gonna be available here. But uh, there is a decent amount of work. Hallmark, Hallmark Cards has a spot here too, and they employ a few hundred people, and then uh, Walmart as well in Leavenworth County. Demographics. So demographics here in Leavenworth, we have a population of right around, just over 37,000 people. Uh, the median income is 51,000 and the median price point is 191. Some of the houses right around downtown, I'm gonna go take you by one um, that I found first. It's right in that $200,000 price point or 260, I believe. There is some really nice um, old colonial style homes that are close to downtown. There's a couple streets that are really nice with big, there's none for sale right now, so there's nothing I can take you by and show you. Um, but just know for four to 500,000, you can get a really nice older where the whole street's nice. And most of the houses are nice. And then there's other areas as we kind of zoom out from that, it's kind of hit or miss. You might have one nice house, one not so nice, five nice houses, you know, just kind of hit or miss. So that's kind of what you get around here. And then as you get outside of the grid, um, I think what you'll notice is, um, you know, just newer subdivisions and the further away we get, the newer we get, the more space and all that kind of stuff. So I think uh, that kind of sums up the real estate part. Um, we are still down here right by the river, obviously. And I think, you know, if you are the type that's looking for a quiet place to raise kids, maybe you're traveling through town, you're in the military and you want to be close. Uh, two, four years for retirement, um, and if you're looking for that quiet town vibe, then Leavenworth can be a great option. Even if you are in the military in your short term, there are some cities close by like Platte City that a lot of the people that are um, working at the base will end up living in Platte City, which is just a little more modern city. It still has a really small downtown, but the rest of it is a little more modern and a little closer to Kansas City, so you kind of put yourself in the middle. Um, with a major highway system that gets you downtown Kansas City. So you don't have to do the uh, back roads at night, so to speak. So um, so that might be a good option for you too, but there's there's all kinds of things. At the end of the day, we're not trying to, you know, talk you into moving to Leavenworth or talk you into moving to Platte City or Overland Park or anything. It's so it'll kind of let you know what Kansas City has to offer, what some of the surrounding cities have to offer. So you can kind of make the best decision when you're researching for your family and you'll have a little better idea of what you might be landing into when you get here to save you some time so we can make most efficient use of your time when you're on the ground here looking at houses and in fact uh, we have had clients that uh, don't even bother to look at houses and we will uh, you know based on a conversation um, really within a, about a half hour or so we can really get dialed in going back and forth on what you're looking for what your wants and needs are what you expect where you're coming from and what's that like so we can try to match that up with uh, a spot that we feel might be a good fit for you. Um, so that's kind of where we put these videos together. So anyway, in a nutshell, um, if you have any questions, uh, drop us a line. You can comment right on the video right underneath this. If you happen to live in Leavenworth and you feel like I missed something you want to add to it, something that you like or don't like, feel free to throw it in there. Appreciate you guys watching. Please give us a like if you like this. And again, all of our contact information is below. So if you're moving in three days or three months, just uh, reach out to us, connect, so we can help you get a smooth move into Kansas City or a town like this, Leavenworth. Here we are in Leavenworth, Kansas at our first house. We're gonna take a walk around and kind of show you the neighborhood. Um, this property right behind me is listed at 265 currently. Four bedroom, four bath, 
Uh, right back there is a detached two-car garage. Now this home is, and almost every home around here, as you probably saw earlier in the video, um, Leavenworth is quite old. This home was built in 1918, so just over 100 years old. Just had its 100-year-old birthday, but this is a complete remodel since then. Um, you've got new windows, new kitchen, so it's gonna have all the modern amenities. We'll post up a few pictures of the inside so you can see what it looks like, but all the modern amenities, um, solid countertops, double ovens, all that good stuff that you look for in a, uh, in a new home. This is located just probably about 10 blocks or about a 15 minute walk um, from downtown. Um, we'll be, um, as you know, we took you through that, so we're not too far from the river over here. And I want to get to the corner here. We'll show you the front just to show you kind of what this neighborhood's like. It does have some sidewalks. Um, actually, yeah, there's those are brick over there. I didn't see them when I first walked up. So we do have sidewalks here, but there is a lot of uh, cars parking in the streets, as you can see. So you are gonna have a lot of that. We are right in the grid. Um, this town has a lot of grid because um, we are just outside of downtown. And um, it goes out like that for quite a while until you kind of get the country. Some of the newer subdivisions that kind of get spread out we get into some more modern housing. So I'll definitely take you to some of that, but I want to start, this is, there is properties cheaper than this. You can get, I think all the way down to probably 120 for something that you could turn the key and start living in. But um, just, there's a lot of, when, you know, when you get into a house that's over hundred years old, um, you'll see, I'll, I'll drive through the neighborhood and give you a couple of shots, but a lot of these, it's kind of hit or miss. Uh, once you get into a house that old, the maintenance on these things can be a nightmare. You've got knob and tube wiring, you've got plaster walls, you've got all kinds of things that you don't have in modern housing that is, back then was super nice and was, you know, cutting edge, but now it's just really a pain in the butt and expensive because there's not a lot of skilled craftsmen that can handle and fix that stuff and work on that stuff and uh, tools aren't designed for that anymore. So anyway, that comes with a, a big expense and just something to keep in mind. But if, you, uh, if this is your thing, you like these older homes and bungalows and colonial style homes, then you probably know what you're getting into. But if you're not, then that's just something that I like to make sure everybody's aware of. All right, well, while we're, while we're still here, I'm just right across the street from that house we just walked by um, in this area. I do want to point out as we're driving around, this is kind of one of those areas where it's hit or miss. You know, some houses are going to get, are going to be new and remodeled and then they might be right next to a house that's dilapidated and old and probably not going to get remodeled anytime soon so that's kind of what you get when you're close to town in these older uh, neighborhoods but as we get out further we'll go uh, to a couple more you can get around more consistently updated properties uh, but it's you know each its own so All right, well now we are just south of Leavenworth downtown and we are in a subdivision called the Oaks. A little bit nicer subdivision, a little bit more spaced out. Um, in this subdivision you get a lot size of about a half an acre and this property that we're coming up on um, right in front of me is the one we're gonna be talking about. That's currently on the market. It is for sale for 375. It is right at 3,000 square feet. It's a four bedroom three and a half bath and it includes a two car garage on the front with another garage uh, back around on the side. So a total of three garages. The house has been updated very nicely. It has some beautiful images inside. Um, shows really nice and I don't expect this one's gonna last too long, but um, right around that $400 price point, this is kind of what you can expect. Um, I'm on the, like I said, the south side of town and then as we just kind of keep going further away from town and get out into the county a little more, that's where you can find your acreage properties uh, a little more spread out, a little more elbow room. But you can already tell this, this property over the last one that we've got a lot more space. It's a nice, quiet street, uh, sidewalks. Everybody, for the most part, one of these cars is me parking in the street, but for the most part, it's parking in their garage. And uh, just nice and updated and spread out in a quiet and peaceful neighborhood. All right, 
right, so here we are at our third house. We are at Oakwoods Estates. It's kind of bright out here, but anyway, uh, Oakwoods Estates. Uh, we're coming up on a house right here that is currently for sale for $560,000. It is 3,400 square feet, four bedrooms, three baths, three car garage on the front, as you can see. And this home was built in 2017, uh, putting us right at about $165 a square foot. So pretty incredible price for what you're getting here in the age and all that. Um, inside, it's gonna have you know granite countertops, soaring vaulted ceilings. There's a sunroom on the back that they've got heated and cooled, which is pretty amazing and kind of overlooks to uh, some trees. This whole subdivision, let me just pan around for a second is uh, sitting kind of in the middle of farmland. You'll kind of see that a little bit out here as we start getting out a little further away from uh, downtown Leavenworth. And really right now, I think I'm about two miles out. Um, so not far at all. You're still close enough to get to everything, but we're, we're outside of the grid, obviously. So travertine, granite, coffee bars, double vanities, you know, kind of everything you'd expect in a house price like this, um, but way more for your money. Um, up here in Leavenworth than you are closer to Kansas City. So just something to keep in mind if uh, if you want more house for your money and the city life isn't that big of a deal for you than, you know, places like this. There's, there's several towns or cities around Kansas City that are like this that are gonna give you that uh, dollar per square foot uh, newer construction at a better value. So, all right, State's of Oakmont. This house, oh, one thing I wanted to touch on while we're here. This, house, this neighborhood does have a swimming pool. So there's a subdivision swimming pool. So a lot of times with that comes an HOA. HOA is $600 a year. So that is a lot better than having your own pool and paying for maintenance, I can tell you that. So anyway, um, we've got sidewalks. We are surrounded by farmland. Nobody's parking in the street. That's me. So um, I'm the only one parking in the street out here. So nice, quiet neighborhood. Give you a little view here some of this farmland. Good place to go let the dog do its business, you know what I mean? Looks like uh, room for some future growth. And there is uh, plenty of new construction up here too, so if new construction's what you're after, um, you got that as well. with some, uh, I wanted to show you guys some estate style lots. So this property is sitting, John, just over five acres. So um, I love showing properties like these to my California, my East Coast, West Coast people, um, because they're like, it's almost like seeing a kid unwrap a present on Christmas morning when they see what they can get for under a million bucks. Um, so anyway, that's just something that makes me giggle every time when I'm talking to my East Coast and West Coast people. They're just, they're giddy with joy on what their, how far their money goes in housing um, in the Kansas City area. So this is one of those uh, beautiful homes in the estate style neighborhood. Like I said, this is, uh, they're sitting right on five acres. This property's priced at 815. It is a four bedroom, five full bath, three car garage. This is a reverse story and a half. So what that means uh, for you folks that don't have basements and stuff is that there's a master on the main. The other bedrooms are down in a uh, finished basement that walks out. So the whole back side of the house um, walks out to the backyard, which you have a deck and a covered deck, and it's just beautiful. The patio, they've done a great job. They've also got a sports court. You can kind of see it over there with basketball, um, basketball goals, and uh, just a really exceptional property. This comes in right at over 5,000 square feet. So when we do the math on that, I think that puts us right at $161 a square foot. And that's where my uh, East Coast, West Coast people start pulling their hair out. And they're just like, are you kidding me? So anyway, um, yeah, beautiful house. I just wanted to touch on this. This is the furthest south of the four houses we've looked at today. Um, a little further south of us is the Legends shopping area. So as we start to get down this way, we're gonna get closer to another shopping area that's um, over by the Kansas Speedway and racetracks and there's all kinds, you know, Nebraska Furniture Mart, tons of restaurants, outlets, um, just a little more hustle and bustle going on over there. But uh, are you getting to see we got a full, full basketball court. And then I'll just pan around so you can see that. Kind of what we've got, we're again on farmland. 
surrounded by farmland, but just a really nice, quiet neighborhood where everybody's got plenty of elbow room. Beautiful houses, country-like setting, but still, you know, fairly close to everything. And really, you know, you're 30 minutes, well, maybe 45, I'd have to plug it in, but you're probably no further than 45 minutes from anywhere in the city. Downtown, 30 minutes to the airport or less. Um, all your major shopping areas, 30, 40 minutes. So I know that's something else you guys are probably going like, what, you can get all this and you're only 30 minutes from town? One of the things with being out here is it's not, you know, we're not jumping on a four lane highway to get to all this stuff. A lot of this is two lanes until you get uh, about 15 or 20 minutes down the road. And then like I-70 is to our south. Yeah, I-29 is to our east. So if when you're looking at a map, you can check out our uh, map tour on Leavenworth. We'll kind of show you where the major highways are, but that's what's, you know, it's a little bit more difficult to get to in that regards, but a little more private too. So 